Hello there and welcome back. Today we talk about the Euterpe Synthesizer Laboratories Vertice. I got this machine a few months ago. It took me uh, a while to get to scratch the surface of it because it can be a fairly complicated tool but can also be super fun to use right off the box. Uh, Stefano, that is the solely builder of this beauty, sent me one and gave me a lot of ideas. Plus, it comes with a 70-page um, manual and there's so many things that you can do with this one. And some of that, it's really technical. Uh, there's, there's also some math schemes inside uh, which I didn't have the courage to read. But what I want to show you for this first video is just like a way that I like to use it, mostly to record interesting texture, interesting experimental sound. I don't mean with this uh, video to explain everything that this machine can do, so please be uh, patient and Stefano, pardon me if my technical uh, language is not on par to yours, but I feel that this machine, more than a surgical tool, is something that you have to touch and play to understand what it really does. So it's, it's going to be complex to uh, portray its power on a video, but I'll try. Uh, before going on, the way you can support me, uh, you can hit the like button and subscribe to, be, to this channel. It's super easy and free. You can buy from the affiliate link down below. And if you buy maybe one of these, mention that to Stefano. Huh? And third, time, third thing, you can become a Patreon. On Patreon, I do one-on-one -on -one lesson. I reply to all of your questions and you will find tons of exclusive material and videos. So what is Vertice? Vertice is a filter bank. It's a three-channel filter bank that can be used in different ways. It could be a summing box, so you sum this three-channel into a uh, mono output. It can be used in parallel. It can be used as a stereo unit. So there's different way in the setup that you just uh, listened to. I'm using three out from the um, Electron Analog Rhythm Mark II, uh, this tree, that goes in three separate channels and then goes out in a sort of not properly stereo, but it works for what I wanted to do. Uh, the audio goes inside the Mercury X for some touch of reverb that, that I think had a lot to this kind of, to this kind of sound that I want to that I look for. And then I have the zero control, the make noise zero control that uh, do some CV modulation of the uh, filter and the, give the time for the envelope generator. So let's try to understand how the signal flow here. You have a three channel that more or less are identical. So A, B and C. A and B can be rooted in different way while C always come out from both the out, the mono uh, parallel and the stereo serial. You have these two output on the back too. Uh, each channel has the emphasis control that would be a sort of um, resonance. And then the three modality, low pass, band pass and high pass. This big knob is the uh, cutoff. So same for all of them. This one, it's how you root the signal. This symbol here, it's summing. So for example, if you want, you can sum everything. And in this case, ta ta ta, and this goes both to these two uh, output. You will have all of the three channel out from the mono, uh, mono or uh, summing channel. Or, for example, you can use, in this case, if you send this to this channel, this you put it in stereo, you will have a stereo signal for channel A and B. Whenever you plug C, it's going to be in the middle. So, let's listen to something. And... What you're hearing right now is actually a... 
a clean signal. It's a drone made with an oscillator that just goes. So this movement is made just by the vertice. So right now I have in channel A this, in channel B this other sound, and for his, the setup now these two are stereo, mean that they go this one on the left channel and this one on the right channel. And then on channel C, that falls central, I have this inputs machine. What happens is like you set up your third volume here. Let's also turn off all the CV. For example, this is channel one. We want to see it's just a, a dual oscillator. Tune it down with decay infinite decay, so it will just go on, as, a, as, as I'm using a normal oscillator. So, first things that I can do, I can filter it. If I want this, I could put it serial, if I want it uh, both in the middle, but I want it here. And so, The master cut off, set the offset for all of them. So let's put this fully open. And now I can set my filter, set my emphasis. And for channel A, I also have these two different modality, clean or overdrive. I like more in this case. And then you have band pass, high pass. We'll keep it on low pass. Let's listen now to channel 2. Same concept. I keep it now in band pass. And as you can see, I set it in the middle, and then with master, I can move towards. And then on channel C, I have the impulse machine. Setting band pass two. The emphasis has two different uh, circuit, the uh, diode and the transistor. Transistor would be the more classic um, circuit, the diode is, is what they had, Stefano had, and don't ask me what it does, just listen to the sound. So for example, here it is, Consider this is just an impulse machine, so it kind of now become a tonal machine. So one thing that Stefano told me is like, this machine is really sensitive to volume. So always start if you want something nice and smooth with very little volume. And in fact, it's very easy to go into distortion and you can destroy your studio if you are not careful. So, say you set up your filter here, now you have the master. And you can now have fun. But I think the real fun here starts when you modulate this. So I have the three out of the make no zero control, and we can start introducing the CV modulation. Let's start with the impulse machine. Is this one, so I can I 
I can set up a sort of sequence in this case. Let's now set up the other one. I can turn the volume off. It's very snappy, but I kind of like it. Uh, probably would be easier, uh, nicer also to use something that has a smoother change, but uh, in this case, this is what I have today, and we'll make it work, because it works with the final things that I want to get. Here it is, and then the movement on the filter, the first one. So, we have something going on, which I really like. Now, what can we do more? We set this uh, part here, now there's a, this master part here, the master filter again which you can uh, modulate to if you want. And then you have this that, I would call it the volume, the master volume, but in the vertice terminology is staccato and continuo. So when you are in continuo, basically in this orange part here, you have a sort of VCA that opens up and you push the volume. But when you go down here, in the staccato, then you have the chance to root the envelope generator to the VCA and open and close it. Now, you, there's many ways you can trigger it. One is just pushing this button, but now I'm sending a gate here. So this is the gate coming from the zero control. So you can be very snappy with the percussive one, there's the smooth one, and the slow one. So one thing you can do if you really want the envelope generator to open and close the VCA, you put this to complete staccato, and then you push the envelope generator volume. And now basically you have a clocked a clocked uh, envelope. So now Let's, let's make it nasty. If we want to really push, let's hear how it, if we push the signal a lot. And then I like to add some. Some of the touch of reverb. Nice. There's no need for the envelope gate, you can also loop it. So now I'm looping it. Super cool. Let's listen to other modality. For example, now I will unplug everything and only keep filter A. Now, if we want to do that, we need to make it in serial. So it means that the signal is gonna go to through A, B, and C. So serial, 
serial. Now the audio is coming out only from here. I will have to, because now I'm recording stereo, so whatever, but it would come only out of that. I'll figure it out on my DAW later. So now what's happening? We have the same signal go through this filter bank. Do you do the face when you do the filter? Like, a woo -woo -woo? I do all the time. So, for example, now, out of the simple oscillator, I'm getting something interesting. And now I can also change all the modulation here. I can go back with the gate. And here it's just fun to uh, create sounds. It's great for bass, like stuff like this. There's a modality here I didn't talk about. Now we are using the VCA, so the uh, envelope generator, which has an output also on the back. Uh, open and close the VCA, but we can just go as a filter. And now the envelope generator doesn't influence it. One cool thing you can do, if you have something like the zero control, I always create like preset. So I can send different value to the CV. See what happened. And let's add some looping. It's really easy to get overboard with it, so you need to be really careful with this control. All right, so what is this instrument for? I think it's for the sound a designer, the sound experimentalist. It's a little out of my comfort zone and that's something me and Stefano discuss about. It's like I, I'm way more simple. My brain is simpler than the circuit in this uh, tool. But I have to say the more you play with it, the more you discover nuances and it's just kind of fun, especially when you use it with effects. And this is the way I'm using it. So effects, something that 
create a final concoction that I enjoy. So that is enough for today. I will now prepare some use case or with the rhythm or with some other instrument. So stay tuned and enjoy. And let me thank Stefano for sending me this beautiful instrument. I'll see you next week. Ciao, ciao. Why, 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 why?